Welcome to Cujo Sound. Bjorn Jacobson here, and I would like to talk a little bit about WISE switches and RTPCs, specifically in blend and switch containers, and how they're used. You see, I have previously made videos about both, but one thing that is often not addressed is that blend containers use all the voices at the same time. Like, if we have a blend container like this, and it's supposed to blend through these four types of rain sounds, then without a blend track, it plays all four of the sounds at the same time. Which sounds horrible, obviously, in this case. But using a blend track, which will crossfade between the four sounds with an RTPC that indicates how much it is raining, will also play the four sounds at the same time. Only one of them, or the one chosen, is audible. See this by pressing F6 and notice in the profiler that all four sounds are playing. Only one is audible, and down here in the corner we can see that all four are currently using a voice, indicated by the four voice count. This is rather ineffective, really. If we have multiple of these playing at any time, quadrupling our voice count is super unuseful. There are some possibilities of limiting this by sending the unheard sounds to virtual voice, of course, but that means that they will still occur in your profiler, and I really prefer to keep my profiler clean. In this case, you can consider using a switch container instead. We will have our rain RTPC coming in, and instead of driving the blend track, we will have it drive the switch and which one of the switches to use. We'll then create a switch group with the four types of rain in it and let the RTPC drive it. So, light rain, medium rain, heavy rain, and storm as switches. Set the RTPC to control which one is active at what value in here. In our audio hierarchy here, we create a switch container with the switches we just created. Import the sounds to the respective parts of the container. Go to the switch container's general settings and click Continue to play across switches. And then set your fade in and out values here. This means that if the switch changes as we're playing the sound, it will, instead of playing the sound just once, which would be great for footsteps and other things like that in the switch, this will simply fade out the current sound and fade in the new switched value. So pressing play here on our switch container like this, if we go to our profiler, we will notice that only one sound is playing and only one voice is used. But altering the RTPC value here, which would normally scrub our blend track in our blend container here, will now just change the switch and crossfade between the two tracks. Obviously, this isn't as precise a fade as the crossfades in the blend container, but if you don't need that, or even better, if you have a bass rain track or similar that is playing at the same time and masking the crossfades, then you're still only using one or two voices with this one. Whereas with the blend container method, you would be using four or five or perhaps even more. And that's how you can utilize WISE and have basically the same logical behavior playing, but using much less voices. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you liked it, liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Or if you liked it, liked it, liked it, then consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Kujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel and afford the time it takes for me to create all this content. Do it. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again in some of my other videos. Cheerio. Ta-ta. Do it.